Toastmasters here in Tina. I hope you find something that makes you want to come back. It's been great for me and, and I hope you like it as well. I'm sure all of us have received an email from a Nigerian prince <laughs> <laughs> promising us millions if we could just help him get out of that one tight spot. Right. Or that notification that says update your account. Or have had a credit card compromised, or an account with illicit charges on it. Cybersecurity risk is absolutely everywhere. There's no way to avoid it. I'm here to talk about three different things that you can do as it relates to password security, Wi-Fi security, and email security. So first I'd like to start with password security. Why is it important? Well, the reason why it's important is it's just like having that security sign outside of your house. If a robber's walking by your house and he's looking at your house and your neighbor's house, you've got a sign and he doesn't have a sign, he's probably going to go to your neighbor's house. right? So it's your first line of defense. What most people aren't aware is how important that line of defense actually is. You want to use what's called a hardened password. Uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special characters. <laughs> but wait a minute, I can't remember all of those things. <laughs> and if I use something that's easy to remember, like 70% of everybody else out there, I'm going to reuse that same password. 30% of everybody uses just one password. That's it, just one. So if the bank gets hacked, or Sony PlayStation gets hacked, or Target gets hacked, or something gets hacked, and your password is on that list of something that's hacked, they have all of your passwords. So don't reuse any passwords. Please don't reuse any passwords. Well, how are you going to remember well, there's a software tool called Password Manager. I use something that's called RoboForm. It's 20 bucks a yeah, it's 20 bucks a year, and it remembers all of my passwords for me across every device that I'm on. It's on my home computer, it's on my work computer, it's on my phone, it's on my iPad, it's on my wife's computer under a different profile. Still 20 bucks a year. Not only that, is I can also use safe notes. Safe notes are, well, what's the password to my safe at home? Well, it's a pretty complicated password. I don't want to have to re try and remember all of those numbers. Right? And what if I want to change it? Because I gave the password to somebody and I don't want them to have it anymore? Safe notes is a great place to do it. RoboForm does that. A free piece of software called LastPass also does that. And there's another piece of software. It's probably the most common, it's called KeyPass. Any of those three are fantastic solutions for, for password management. I'd like to talk a little bit about public Wi-Fi or free Wi-Fi. And when I'm talking about public Wi-Fi, I'm talking about Starbucks, I'm talking about the library, I'm talking about your kid's school, where, where you go someplace and you connect your device so you don't have to use your data program. Don't do that. I never do that. I haven't been on public Wi-Fi or free Wi-Fi in probably six or seven years. Because there's really no thing, there's no such thing as a secure public Wi-Fi spot. So if I hit the wrong button, what could go wrong? If I hit the wrong button on my computer, I can give anybody else that's connected to that, that Wi-Fi system, if you will, access to my computer. And all I'm doing is clicking the wrong button. And if I'm doing it quickly, if I'm not giving it all of my attention, I could probably very easily do that. And certainly people do. Also, this is a place where criminals congregate. 
If we think about this just a little bit, let's go back to the 1800s, when people started robbing trains. Why were people robbing trains? Because I could go steal the loot off that train and I could rob 150 people all at the same time in one fell swoop. That's what cyber criminals do today. Why come and steal your wallet when I can steal 90 million wallets all at the same time? That's what happened to Target. 90 million credit cards were stolen all at once. It's amazing. So public Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, if I'm connected to that and there's a piece of malware that's attached to that device, it can automatically be downloaded to my computer. Anybody else that has malware associated to their, or that are on their devices or computers or tablets or what have you, can also be shared with my device. So what can you do? Get a hotspot. Use your cell service. Use your cell phone. Most people don't know this, but you can turn your cell phone into a tether or into a, into a Wi-Fi hotspot so that you can get the internet on your tablet or computer or what have you. The last thing I wanted to talk about is email security. Two general rules. If there's a link or if there's an attachment, don't open it unless it fulfills these two parameters. The first parameter is you know who it's coming from. And the second parameter is you're expecting it. So, Michael, if you get an email from your mom saying, you're going to love this in the body, and then the email address is blah, 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 whatever, you're not going to like it. Don't <laughs> click on that link. Because as soon as you click on that link, it's too late. Malware has already been downloaded to your computer. If you have to download an attachment, or if you have to open an, open an attachment, and you're suspicious of it, save it to your desktop, and use a virus scan to go ahead and, and check to see if that is safe. So hopefully, here's a few things that you can take home with you to help make you more secure, and help you, help you be more aware as it relates to your own personal cybersecurity. Thank you very much.